Welcome back to Silly Shelly. Today's fast project is very simple and great for any baby shower. We need one diaper, a pair of socks, a washcloth, rubber bands and a safety pen, scissors and tape. You may also want to use tool for extra decoration. With just these few supplies, we're going to make little pacifiers that are perfect to decorate the baby shower or to top a diaper cake or just kind of string on a garland and just have fun with. The first thing we want to do is take our diaper, open it long ways, and then either fold it up or roll it up or a combination of both so that the uh, the end result is a long thin rope like shape and then we're going to put some rubber bands all along this to help hold that shape. Be sure to tuck in any tabs or anything that's sticking out close to the waistbands. You could also use a burp cloth or a trifold cloth diapers for this as well. I'm using uh, six or seven rubber bands on these. You can use more or possibly less, but you want to put them close enough together that they help hold things. You don't want them too far apart, otherwise the diaper will unravel a little bit. So there's the diaper with its rubber bands or a small elastic poly bands. And then I'm going to take the two ends, put them together with another band. The next step is to take your pair of socks. You can use socks up to uh, roughly 12 months size, uh, anything newborn and up. You can also use scratch mittens. You take one and put it inside of the other. And then you may also want to add some cotton to give a little more uh, bulk into what will become the ball of the pacifier. You can use cotton balls or um, whatever type of product you have. You might have polyfill if you do a lot of sewing projects. You could also stuff a second pair of socks in here uh, or a second pair of scratch mittens or some other small you know, washcloth or something. So then you take your sock and you put it over the two ends of the diaper that have been held together. And this is where you got to play around a little bit. If your socks are long like this, you may have to fold up the cuff. If they're a little shorter, it's not a problem. Your scratch mittens, it's not too much of a problem, but you just got to play around with, with what you have, what you're using. And I have found that safety pinning the sock onto the top of the diaper has made a huge difference in holding these things together. Now, normally I don't pin into diapers, but because this pin is going into the waistband part, the diaper is still reusable. So then you'll fold up, or fold or roll up your washcloth to get the desired width. You may want it like this is about a half inch or a little wider. Just whatever it takes to cover the base of your sock. And each type of sock or each type of scratch mitten will be a little different. It all depends on how you have to fold it. Then just secure this washcloth with tape. And that's pretty much it. 
you could embellish more if you wanted. You could put little um, little decorations on here. If you didn't plan on reusing it, you could hot glue a lot of things on here. You could tie ribbon around it with a bow. You could do a whole lot. One thing that I sometimes do is use tool. I just cut a couple six inch, I use six inch tool, so I cut a couple strips of that that are six inch, so I make six inch squares. I layer two on top of each other. Cut a little hole in the middle and just slide that over the end of the, the sock. And then I cover that with the washcloth and fluff it out a little bit. You can be as creative or as simple as you like with this. Very, very many possibilities you can use, just whatever works in your imagination. So here I have another one I did with some blue tool. and another one over here with a scratch mitten. Simple, easy, very affordable. You can hit your local dollar store to get a lot of supplies or even uh, Walmart or any other discount or department store. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share the videos you like with your friends. Uh, comment below if you have any thoughts you'd like to share with me. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Oh, don't forget I have a Facebook page so go over there and like it and uh, you can definitely leave comments there about what you'd like to see or what you've tried. I also have fan photos there. You can check out what other people have done with uh, my basic video ideas. Alright, see you next time.